Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Brave Kids Art Club. My name is Brad and tomorrow is the first day of October and I couldn't be more excited because this is the month of my most favorite holiday, Halloween. I have so many good memories of Halloween. I just love, I don't really like the scary parts, but I really do love all the awesome fun memories of trick-or-treating and getting candy, dressing up in cool costumes, and making jack-o'-lanterns. Speaking of which, that's what we're gonna be drawing today. We're gonna be drawing some jack-o'-lanterns to prepare us for this Halloween season, and uh, they're just really fun to draw. So let's make sure we have all the tools we need and let's get started. All right, make sure you have a nice clean sheet of paper. Of course, we're gonna need a pencil to do our sketching to make sure that we can figure out what we wanna draw. And then we're gonna outline it to finalize it with a dark marker or a pen. And then, uh, you know, we're gonna make mistakes and there's gonna be pencil left over. So make sure you have an eraser of some type. And uh, then of course, at the very end, we're gonna do some coloring. So this is gonna be fun. Hopefully you have an orange marker, but you know what? It doesn't have to be because pumpkins come in lots of different colors. I've carved a white pumpkin before and a green pumpkin before, so maybe you don't have to have an orange. All right, so let's start sketching our pumpkin first and then we'll add the face on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start off with like maybe a taller pumpkin because I have my page this way. It depends on where you have yours. You can make your pumpkin any shape you want. I've had tall ones, skinny ones, fat ones, round ones, whichever you want. So I'm gonna do a taller one and I'm gonna start with like an oval shape. So I'm gonna kinda go like this, make a big, eraser's in my way, big oval shape. Now make this a light mark, a light oval. Don't push too hard on your pencil because we're most likely gonna erase this. This is gonna be our guide for our pumpkin's shape. Now, of course, if you wanna keep yours just rounded off, that's totally fine, you don't have to do anything else. But a lot of times pumpkins, they have these little ridges on them and they kind of go like this. So let me show you. If we're gonna go off the side here, kind of follow this up and then kind of go down like that. And then we're gonna do another little lump right there. I'm gonna do a third one right here and just have it blend right into our edge right there. Does that make sense? So it's a little lumpy and you'll see why. It's got little ridges on them. We're gonna do the same thing down here, kind of follow it in and kind of pull it in. Do another one right there. And then one more and have that go into that curve as well. There we go. Now again, you can make this any shape. I can, you can do the same type of ridges on any of these shaped pumpkins that you want to do. I've seen some pretty funky shaped pumpkins. If you ever felt one that kind of is like lumpy, that's because it's got these ridges. So let's start kind of with this, uh, this curve right here and kind of follow it along and try to match it up best you can with this one at the bottom. Like that. And then I'll do the same thing on this side. Kind of go out. Ooh, there we go. You might have to draw it a few times, and that's okay. Like that. There we are. Okay, that looks that looks good to me. Now we gotta add the stem on the top, right? We got a stem. So I'm gonna start with a kind of a fatter base on my stem. Kind of do it like that on either side of there. Then I'm gonna have it kind of curve. Now the reason they're curved is because a lot of the, these stems are basically the ends of the vines. They are grow on the ground and they have vines coming from the main plant. And if you see them out there, you'll see that they're kind of curly a lot of times. So this will, you've seen some of them will kind of curve like that. It's kind of cool. So you can do whatever you want with your stem. This is how I want to draw mine right there. And they kind of, you know, like cut them off right there so that it's all flat on the end. And that's the top of my pumpkin. I might even add some lines here in the stem just because they also kind of, kind of, it's almost like fibrous, almost looks like wood, but it's not, it's actually just the stem. So we're gonna draw a few little lines up there. All right, this is looking like a pumpkin now. Now we gotta draw the face on here to make it a proper jack-o'-lantern. So I'm gonna do a really classic face on here. Now this is an opportunity for you to do whatever you want. What kind of face do you want on your jack-o'-lantern? Maybe this is good practice for when you get your pumpkin this year and you carve it for Halloween. So maybe this will be a good uh, practice round for you and, be, and you can look off of this to, to do your actual carving. Now I'm gonna do just a really basic one, like I said. So I'll do the traditional triangle eyes. So I'm gonna go like this and go down like that and make a triangle right there, boop. 
I'm going to do another one right here. There we are. Now it's running through there because I'm going to erase a lot of that right there. So don't get too hung up on that. Maybe I'll, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll give them little, little eyeballs inside. <laughs> little eyeballs. Little pupils. We're going to make a happy pumpkin. Like I said, when it comes to Halloween, I'm not really into the super gory, creepy stuff. I'm more in the happy part of Halloween. <laughs> I'm gonna draw another triangle for the nose. And then I'm gonna draw a big curve right here for the mouth. And I probably should have drawn this a little bit lighter because I'm gonna have to do a lot of erasing. So you'll see what I'm planning on doing here in a second. And we'll draw another one right here below it. Like you're drawing a big slice of watermelon. Which is interesting because pumpkins are 90% water. That's crazy. That's just like it's just like a watermelon, right? Like just made of mostly water. But that's not the only thing they have in common. They also have lots and lots of seeds inside of them. So they're kind of like a fruit. I think they're basically a fruit. They're also a squash in the squash family, but I think they're a fruit, which kind of blows my mind and it hurts my brain to think about. Alrighty, so let's go and draw some teeth in here, which are just going to be little squares or little rectangles, however you choose to draw them. I'll draw three on the bottom, maybe, and two on the top. Like that. And another one right here. Now we have to do some erasing, because I think I got a lot of these lines in here, but I need to erase some things in order for this to work. So I'm going to erase the lines inside the eyes, because we're obviously not going to draw those, because a jack-o'-lantern means we cut this face out of the pumpkin and the pumpkin inside is hollow that means there's nothing inside i mean hopefully there's nothing inside because you're supposed to gut it out pull out all the seeds in the guts which is the fun part <laughs> some would argue it's not the fun part it's kind of the gross part but i think it's really fun taking out all the slimy guts and putting them into a bowl Alrighty. oh wait you know what let's do this let's take these lines too because you're not gonna cut those parts Let's do this. And then I'm gonna do also, make sure the teeth are, these lines are taken off here. And the last one right there. Perfect. All right, it's looking like a nice little jack-o'-lantern friend. And then I'm gonna add a few little things. Now this is something that we haven't done a ton of. Um, but it's probably easy just to learn in this situation right here because these are easy shapes. But we're going to learn a little bit of dimension. We think we did it on the apple and the worm. A little bit of dimension. Because it's hollow inside, we're going to make it look a little hollow. So we're going to take a line right here on the inside and go right there. Just like you cut it and you can see the inside, this will be black in there. And then we'll have it look like this is the, the thickness of the rind of our of our uh, pumpkin. So we'll do the same thing on this side. And while we're at it, maybe let's do it here on the nose. And then, oh yeah, we have to do it on the eyes there too, huh? So we'll kind of go like this. Like that. There we are. So that way it kind of looks dimensional. It means you can kind of see that it's not just a flat thing. It actually has some shape. So let's go ahead and add maybe some over here as well, a little line. And then maybe a little line there and there. I'm going to do the same thing up here on those teeth. There you go. And it'll look a lot better once you put the dark color back here. It'll make a whole lot more sense. But this is looking pretty good. I'm excited about this. So now I got to go in here and start working with my, my dark marker or a pen. I'm going to use a Sharpie and I'm going to start outlining my jack-o'-lantern. Okay, got to get that edge first. I'm really curious to see what shape you guys chose. I wonder if your guys was a really tall one too. So you're going to have to show me pictures of what you guys made because I really like to see it. 
I'm sure you guys have some fantastic ideas for faces as well. Oh, let's go up here to this other side and we'll go. Oh, my lines are getting a little wobbly. That's okay. Jack-o'-lanterns actually came from Ireland and they came from an old folk tale about a man named Stingy Jack. So kids would actually carve out not pumpkins at the time, it was actually radishes and potatoes. And they would carve out little faces on their radishes or potatoes and put them on their door or window or something like that outside to scare away Stingy Jack so he wouldn't come to their house that night. It's kind of, kind of creepy, but also kind of fun. So Halloween came from Ireland all the way over here to the United States. And we celebrate it here. And jack-o'-lanterns also took different forms. At one point it just meant like the guys who would put the lights in the, like light the lanterns around the city or the watchmen around the city who had the lanterns in their hand. They also referred to mysterious lights that they didn't know where the, where the light was coming from. They called that jack-o'-lanterns as well. So really interesting stuff. Here we are just carving away our pumpkins every year, not knowing these amazing facts. <laughs> At least they're amazing to me. Okay, I'm gonna do these little teeth here. So that's why I erased those bar parts because look, when you're going through and carving your pumpkin, if you carved off that, you'd knock your teeth right out. You don't wanna carve the teeth out. There we are. Now, this is an important question. Do you guys eat the seeds inside your pumpkins after you're done gutting them for your jack-o'-lanterns? I know I do. My wife, actually my mom, I grew up with some really, really, really tasty seeds that came from the pumpkins. They put little seasoning and spices on them and baked them in the oven. And they're like crispy and really yummy. And now, my wife does it too, and sh they are so, so good, and our kids love them. All right, here, let's do these little lines. I'm not gonna do the whole line, I'm just gonna do part of the line, because if I go through, it might look a little bit busy or messy, so I'm just gonna follow part of those lines, like that. And there we go, we have our jack-o'-lantern. So now I think all we have to do is go through and erase all of this stuff underneath, all this under sketch and then we're in good shape to go ahead and color it. So hopefully you guys are having fun. Uh, again, don't feel obligated to follow exactly what I'm doing on the face. You get to choose whatever you wanna do on your pumpkin face, because like I said, maybe you can use this for your actual carving later on in the month. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the coloring and things now, and then we'll catch up right after. finishing touches and I am done with my oh wait no I didn't finish it I thought I was finished my old jack-o'-lantern's got all the colors right but I forgot I have to fit the light inside there maybe that's why it's so dark inside because I haven't added I haven't cut the top open and put the candle inside so we got to make a little area at the top usually I cut kind of a like a little star pattern on the top of my Top of my jack-o'-lantern. There we go. There we are, perfect. I had to carve that at the top because that way you can lift off the top and you can put the, the light inside there so you see it glow at night. So maybe that's why I said <laughs> it's dark on the inside. But I'm really happy with how my jack-o'-lantern turned out. This is a whole lot of fun. Like I said, I'm really excited for Halloween. So don't be surprised if we do a few more Halloween themed drawings this month. But I'm really happy you guys came to draw with me today and hopefully you're proud of what you made. So if you are proud of what you made, which you should be, then go ahead and let's just sign our names at the bottom of our drawing. I'm gonna do my little initials there and we'll call this illustration finished. Well, thanks again, you guys, for watching this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and drop this video a like. And uh, remember, before you go, be brave, 
be creative, but most importantly, be you. All right, we'll see you guys next time.